Over 50 years ago, Rocketdyne developed the J-2, a high-performance upper-stage rocket propulsion system. The original J-2 combined liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen to produce 225,000 pounds of thrust. Today, Pratt & Whitney Rocketdyne has capitalized upon a half-century of human spaceflight experience and is developing the J-2X, a modern, state-of-the-art rocket engine using advanced technologies, design techniques, and groundbreaking material and manufacturing processes to produce 294,000 pounds of thrust. Earlier this month, assembly of the first J-2X was finalized at NASA's Stennis Space Center. Upon assembly completion, engineers and technicians representing a combined labor force from NASA, Lockheed Martin, and Pratt & Whitney Rocketdyne transferred J-2X engine number 10001 from building 9101 and installed it into test stand A-2. Tim Lorenz is Pratt & Whitney Rocketdyne's J-2X program integrator at NASA's Stennis Space Center. We uh, took the engine out of the mobile dolly or, or the work plat platform, it's a combination mobile dolly work platform, uh, placed it onto the trailer uh, and uh, brought it over to the test stand and uh, backed it up into the ramp down below here and uh, put it up on, onto the engine vertical installer which you see behind you. After being hoisted up, the GSE, ground support equipment, was removed and the engine was readied for final positioning into the gimbal joint. I was kind of wary about how we were going to unattach the GSC or the hardware that actually attaches to the gimbal on the engine to pick it up. Uh, because it is a large structure and the access to the bolts that attach it to the gimbal um, was very difficult. One of the more senior GSE technicians volunteered to take on the task donned his fall arrest gear and, while four stories up, perched out over the edge of the stand and laid down right inside the engine to remove the bolts. Matt Seal is PWR's Stennis Space Center J2X test stand lead. Well, we have to um, go through all the planning that put the engine together, make sure it's all closed out and complete, and then we have to uh, get the, do all the functional checkouts that marries the test stand to the engine and then uh, verify everything's good to go before we test the first time. The challenge is going to be making sure we learn all the new systems and uh, verify that all the hardware is being tested. The important part is uh, everything has been looked at and you are confident you're safe to test. At that point then it's pure excitement, you got smoke and, and uh, fire and it's, it's really fun to watch. So that part of it's going to be very exciting as we move forward. Anthony Soans is PWR's test and controls manager at NASA Stennis. I would say uh, it's going well. Everyone's working exceptionally well together. We all have the same vested interest, and that is a successful uh, test of this J2X engine. We're lucky to have a, a very mature workforce that have been around big rocket engines for a long time that understand the behavior of a rocket engine, that understand the processes that it takes to put a rocket engine together and hot fire it. We can be proud of what's been accomplished to date. If you look at the time frame from the engine design uh, through fabrication, assembly, and now we're here uh, with engine installation for first test, all in a very uh, aggressive but successful timeline. Built upon a heritage, a legacy of success, the J2X will now be a great asset as the nation selects architecture to move forward for space exploration and manned spaceflight. We like a challenge. <laughs>